Hello, boys and girls. We are back and uh, I am fully decked out in diamond clothing. And by the looks of it, it's a rainy day. But we are already on day 13. So we spent quite a few days uh, underground mining. I still have a few diamonds uh, left, but let's do a bit of uh, farming here. Um, so that we have a constant supply of wheat which we will probably eventually need uh, once we have some uh, cows um, and cows of course are important for the ladder for the books so what i imagine we will do Later on in this episode is uh, heading out a bit, adventuring a bit. Uh, I have prepared a boat, can already see it there. And uh, then we will see if we can find ourselves a village or a dungeon would also be nice. With a dungeon, we could we could easily make an uh, XP farm, which is probably also something that we will need at some point when we get into uh, enchanting because I do not guess we will be able to uh, uh, get all the books uh, and uh, enchantments that we need through trading or uh, by fishing so let's plant up bit more here still have a few seats and then let's head out on this river on a boat cruise and see where it leads us into a dead end. I thought rivers were improved in this version of the game. Looks like we have come across an ocean or a bit of sea. There is a wandering trader, but at this point, um, that's mighty useless because we do not have any diamonds. Okay, all the kelp has grown here, which indicates that we loaded this part of the map uh, when we were mining underground. Hey, okay, looks like this might be only a lake after all, and not a fully fledged ocean. There is a chicken over there. So, let's 
let's wander off in this direction. And see what we can find. Some turtles over there. Pumpkin straight ahead. Which we will collect. And then this looks more like uh, an ocean. So let's hug the, the shoreline here a bit. So we are on the... Uh, woo! That was a crazy jump. As we are on the lookout for... A village, or maybe a shipwreck. Shipwreck can also hold goodies. Ah, finally, it stopped raining and the sun comes out. It's nearly evening. And since it's been a few days uh, since I died, probably there will be phantoms during the night. Okay, so let's round this corner. We are okay. This seems to be one of these new shore types the Stony Shore. I think it's named. Ah, oh, I spot a village over there. And there is a fire going on there at the back. So, yeah, go to sleep. And we will make sure that this fire don't have that many building blocks. This fire does not destroy a village. Right. Cat over there, iron golem. Um, we probably should light up a bit more. Just to uh, make the area a bit more safe from mobs. Come on. more fire
Maybe you should fight it from the inside. think that that's it. Also light up back here. There is a skelly. There's a pig. And there are the phantoms. Ooh, there's a bee. So let's stay under, under this ledge until it's morning. I believe my village is in peace. That could end badly. Yeah, second death. And probably when we get back, the village will be overrun by uh, zombies. But uh, we did have quite a bit of uh, uh, goodies on us, so we need to fetch those. So let's craft a new boat. Uh, leave this in here. Uh, maybe also take a take the sorters. And then head on out. Now that we have died, um, we don't have to uh, worry about phantoms anymore. Just the other riffraff uh, that usually hangs out during the night. But we should be kind of okay, as the most time we will be on water anyway. So let's quickly drive over there 
and I will see you there unless something interesting happens on the way. And here we are again at the dawn of a new day. And so you can see that is how a shitload of boats uh, come into being. You paddle somewhere, you die, and then you have to... That's probably not supposed to happen. And then you have to paddle back and then there will be multiple boats. So... We've got all our armor back. We have diamonds. Have our two iron pickaxes. So far looking good. Let's make room here. Yes. Good. And let's see. What are you trading? Beetroot for emeralds and bread. No. Emeralds for beetroot and uh, bread for emeralds. Okay. We have neither. But um, we might be able to come across some Okay, this is how the fountain should look like. Okay, um, we do need to light this area up a bit more. So let's continue what we started. There is the iron golem. Here. There are still quite a few um, villages around. So but most of them do not have a profession. Apples, bread, and a bit of gold. Come to me. A fisherman. That wants emeralds. Not terribly useful. Nitwit. You don't see them that often anymore. Okay. Upper floor.
so not a fisherman ah you take sticks for emeralds so that's one option how we can get uh, some emeralds going then Okay, there is bit of a fenced off area going on here. Slide up this area above here, not in a very systematic manner. What are you? You are a mason. Okay. Usually masons are good. Uh, or I use masons a lot because of their uh, quartz trade, but here around, I think they do have also a trade for um, uh, stone or uh, diorite or granite to. Um, to diamonds it's probably second tier so that could be good for uh, getting us some emeralds but this village has no librarian or uh, clerics so Probably we will not make this uh, permanent kind of base here. But we can spend a bit of time And it, to me, it looks like the, the, the huge oak trees, the shape they're growing has changed. But maybe this is just my impression. And once again, we are without a pick or a X, I should rather say, but we do have this and can craft ourselves a pickaxe. All right. And it's night time again. Ooh, cool. Nice. And we lost all our levels. Which we had 12, I think.
Oh, okay, that's the farmer's bed. All right then. Um, let's create a bit of a fence here. Where do I want to go? Till here. And then we can light up this area. If we manage to stay alive till the morning, we can then collect uh, the uh, arrows and bones from the bone donors, also known as uh, skellies. All right, this looks good. Here we have a bit of a darker spot. Then over here. Here in the middle. And that was our last torch. Can make four more. Ooh, creepers. Uh, without any stay away that made a hole Let's try and uh, repair a bit. Um. Yes, Beetroot, we can trade that with the farmer. And can 
even expand a bit more. And do something about the hunger. Quite a few creepers there. What if we make second barrier there? Nice. Ooh, there's a string back there. Two. Which means... We do have enough for a fishing rod. Yeah. Ooh. Where did you come from? Yeah, of course. Another hole in the ground. Let's deal with it that way. Yeah. Nothing happened. All good. And with that, we are at the end of this episode, so let's see where this leads us. Until then, goodbye!